Wi-Fi and be seated just a moment. We want to welcome you to Stratford Heights this morning. So good to see you in God's house. We've come to worship him. We've just come from early service at 8.30 and then the Sunday school hour. And uh, if you miss Sunday school, you miss one of the best things that goes on at Stratford Heights. We study God's word and it just inspires us and helps us. And it's wonderful to be able to get with God's people and study his word. So Sunday school is always a blessing at 9.30. And then, of course, this is the 10.45 service. And then tonight at 6, our reg uh, regular worship service on Sunday evening. And uh, if you want to um, watch the General Assembly this week, please just go ahead and, and log on www.churchofgod.org in the news and then convention. And I think you can live, scam the, live stream the, the whole General Assembly. I watch the business meetings and the service at night, the preaching is out of sight. It's just wonderful. So you that can, take advantage of that, and um, you'll be blessed by it. Well, I have some good news. Rebecca Tram's daughter is home. Adriana, our 13-year-old teenager, is she here? She isn't here, is she, Rebecca? Is she here? Okay, where is she? Rip, stand, uh, Adriana, where are you? Oh, come up here, honey. Come here. She's been in seven countries of the world. <laughs> oh, it's precious. It's so good to have you home. We prayed for you, and did you miss us? Yeah. Say a word. Hi. <laughs> she's not a bit bashful, but she's been all over the world. So we want to thank God for bringing her home, don't we? Praise the Lord. That's so good. It's wonderful to be uh, where you can have God's people to pray for you like that. And uh, so we want to be praying for our General Assembly all week. And we're glad that you're here. If you're visiting, our pastor will be back. He's at the General Assembly. Several more are going. And uh, this is a time when people in the Church of God all over the world, our missionaries in every country almost of the world, come into Orlando, Florida, where they have the business meetings, they have the mission service, and they all come together for a time of uh, 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 deliberation in the word and uh, services and it's just wonderful and um, we we always did go this is only the second time we missed in probably most of our life but i've got a bad knee i'm going to have it fixed so i'm go next time <laughs> but uh, we were glad that you're here today and if you're visiting with us you'll be sure and come back next sunday to hear our pastor brother cameron's going to speak this morning and then um, Brother Tackett, tonight you'll enjoy these are men of God and they know how to preach the word to us. So we'll look forward to that. So let's have all of our visitors remain seated and all of our members and regular attenders. Would you stand all over the building this morning? And those around you that are seated are our new people. So please take time to shake hands and greet them. Get out and give somebody a God bless you and greet the people today before we worship. Thank you. There's no greater love than Jesus. There's no greater love than He gives. There's no greater love than frees us. Oh, so deep within. There's no greater love than Jesus. Oh, There's no greater love There's no greater love than Jesus. 
Amen. Give the Lord a good hand clap of praise. Jesus be the center of it all. Jesus be the center of it all. From beginning to the end, it will always be, it's always been you, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus be the center.
Lord, we surrender all to you. Jesus, be the center of my church. <laughs> be the center of my church. Jesus, be the center of this church. And every knee shall bow. And every knee shall bow. And every tongue. And every tongue shall confess you. Shall confess you. Jesus. Jesus. Be the center of my life. Oh, yeah. oh give him praise this morning.
special need and you didn't come down and get prayed for. God is moving right <laughs> right now. <laughs> and he's in this house for one reason and that's to change your life. If you 
have a need and you haven't been prayed for, you just didn't feel like coming down, that's the person. I want you to raise your hand up right where you are. I'm not asking you to come down. I want you to look at the people that have their hands raised right now. I want you to make your way to them. I want you to lay hands on them and pray for them. Kevin Caskey, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> in the name of Jesus, that situation will be healed. Sing it one more time, Anna. Lord, with all we have. Pray for him. Pray for him. And with all we are. We have come so far. To lift your name. To lift your name on high. Because it's all about you. Jesus, yes, it's all about you, yeah, yeah, yeah. His love, His song, His grace is what we bring to you.
so sick and tired of hearing about everybody serve they call him Allah they call him everything it's the same it is not the same God my God died he was wounded for my transgressions they put him in the tomb and on the third day he <laughs> and I will not worship any other God. I will not worship any other God than you, Lord. But thou, oh Lord, you are so high above all the earth. Above, high, any other God, Lord. We've come to praise you, for thou, oh Lord, oh, art high. Above all the earth, above all the earth, thou art exalted, thou art exalted, far above. this presence and in this mode of prayer so appropriate right now so we go and we pray for our brothers and sisters in Israel if you would we're going to band together and pray for the peace of Israel today let's pray dear Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus God we thank you for your presence that's here in this house for the work that you've done the way that you've ministered to us how you've met every situation, how you're moving and working here in this house. God, we thank you for that. But we pray now, God, for the peace of Israel, that you would be with our brothers and our sisters that are halfway around the world. God, that you would minister to them, that you would protect them. God, that you would stand up against any foe that would try to tear them down or try to come against them. God, I pray that the enemy schemes that are planned against them would fall and falter. And God, that your work would be done and accomplished. Give protection to the people of Israel. Watch over them, comfort them, guide them, and lead them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God, be with them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If you would, you can be seated real quick. would I would just like to say a couple of a couple of quick things who's excited the presence of the Lord is in the house amen he's the guest of honor here and like Gary said when God shows up he begins to move and begins to work and he does awesome things and he knew far before that we would ever walk in the door today God knew what you needed he knew your situation and he loves you and he cares so much for you I want to say this, thank you so much for being faithful to the house of God. Today you could have done any other thing, you could have been anywhere else, and and I'm sure you're regimented and you're dedicated to God, and that's the reason why you're here, amen. But I just want to say thank you so much for being faithful, and thank you so much for being faithful. If you work and serve around our church, you make our church what it is. We do a lot of work being pastors and different things, but you make the ministries happen and you make the work happen. Right now as we speak, all through the building, every classroom practically is full of teachers and our kids, and God is blessing them, and they're being faithful and working, and it's just a beautiful thing. The ministry goes on. But I want to say this today. We have a pastor here at our church, Pastor Ray, Pastor Ray Phillips. He's my hero, one of my, my greatest friends, my hero. He's, he's just the man. <laughs> today, uh, as we've already stated, He's down, they ask him to speak at a conference that precedes the General Assembly, so he's down there already. He's uh, doing a conference. He's probably right now speaking to thousands of people as we speak. But God is blessing him and being with him. Today is his birthday, and uh, in two weeks, 
in two weeks is going to be Pastor Appreciation Day. In two weeks, it's August the 10th, and uh, we're going to have a big service that morning at the 8.30 and 10.40 services, and it's going to be wonderful. Be prepared and be ready to bless them with cards and all that kind of good stuff. But I wanted, we're going to take up the offering today as the ushers come forward. This is just a regular offering. All the loose offering that you put in the plate goes to the mission field. And of course, uh, we give you the opportunity to pay your tithes and, and uh, give honor to God. But I wanted, we're going to pray over the offering, but, but in this prayer, and this is, this is totally just me, and, and you might be like, Pastor Richard, you're crazy. But I don't think so. I, he's, our pastor's in Florida right now. We're going to pray that God would bless the offering. But I want to pray a special blessing, and I want you to agree with me that I want to be a blessing to the pastor. I want us to pray that he would be blessed, that he would be blessed. He would be blessed just amazingly by God, that God would touch his life, that God would just minister to him, give him strength, give him peace and wisdom, and God would just bless his life in every way possible. Are you with me? We're going we're gonna to pray. We're going to pray. And, and I'm, I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to pray with all my heart that God would bless our pastor. I see him at the uh, this most strenuous times. I see him at the happy times. I see him at every time there is. This man works hard. He's given his life in every way, shape, form, and fashion. And uh, I just want him to be blessed today. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for the way that you've moved in our hearts and lives and the people that you've blessed us to be around. God, you've blessed us with this wonderful church and you've filled up classrooms and you've brought up ministry and ministers and, and teachers. You've blessed us in so many ways, God. This could not be anything else but your work and your design. God, I pray that you would bless our church and I pray, God, that you would bless our pastor today on his birthday. I pray especially, God, that you would meet his needs that you would touch his life, that you would bless him abundantly more than he could ever ask or think or hope. God, I pray that you would touch him in every way possible as a pastor and as a man. I pray that you would provide for him today, and I pray that you would help him to know and to see your hand and your blessings on his life. And God, I pray that you would minister to him. I pray that you bless him today. And God, we pray that you would bless the offering today as it's given and the tithes as they come in. God, pray that they would be blessed. Lord, that it would meet the needs of our church and it would touch if the people all around the world that are missionaries. God, we pray that you would just have your way in it and through it. And God, we pray that you would have your way through the rest of today's service. Bless Pastor Cameron as he brings the word. And God, we just love you and honor you. And we thank you today in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh 